our top priority is definitely to make sure our students um, are safe and their well-being is uh, well taken care of. The Kelly superintendent speaks publicly following the arrest of a second school employee on sex charges involving a student. Good evening, everyone. It's a school sex scandal that leaves the family of one young victim asking why. We'll have more on that in just a moment. We also learned from Scott County Sheriff West Drury the investigation that led to the arrests of these two women remains ongoing. Both women appeared before a judge in Scott County this morning. 38 year old Lindsay Limbaugh pleaded not guilty to two felony charges of sexual contact with a student. According to court documents, Limbaugh made initial contact with the victim through TikTok while intoxicated at a concert. Those records also indicate she made out with the victim in a bathroom at a park during a school field trip. She's being held without bond and is scheduled to appear in court next week. Former Kelly teacher's aide Kristen Kirker is now out of jail. Kirker bonded out this afternoon after a judge set her bond at $50,000. As a condition of her release, she's not allowed to have any contact with the victim. Kirker also pleaded not guilty to the felony charges against her. She's scheduled to be back in court later this month for a preliminary hearing. During Kirker's bond hearing, Scott County Prosecuting Attorney Donald Cobb actually read a statement from the victim's family in court. They wanted to know why it happened, saying the crime affects the entire family. Part of that statement read, quote, you made him feel like a man, but he is still a child. After that hearing, Cobb spoke to us about the sexual contact charge he filed against both women. Yes, it, it, it's a classy felony, but it's a classy felony that, that can change the life of a lot of different people. And so, uh, but this, um, this county, I mean, we take it very seriously. It's not something that um, a lot of people will look at a classy felony and, um, you know, think of it as more, and it is on the lower end of the felony scale. It's still a felony, and it, it's still quite serious. Cobb also tells us that charge is not dependent on the age of the victim. It relates to the position held by the suspect at the school. As we've reported, Kelly School leaders fired Kirker immediately after her arrest. Limbaugh remains on administrative leave. So Kelly superintendent released statements immediately following both Kirker and Limbaugh's arrests. But today he agreed to sit down and speak with Madison Stewart. She joins us live in our studio to share their conversation. Jeff and Kathy, Dr. Bradley Colwick says he wants Kelly parents to hear directly from him following the shocking events of the past week. Obviously it's an ongoing investigation and I can't comment on the specifics of the investigation. There's a lot Dr. Bradley Colwick cannot say about the arrest of a current Kelly teacher and a former teacher's aide. But there's no doubt the events of the past week are having a major impact on the Scott County District that serves 900 K-12 through students. Well, right now, um, everybody's just reflecting and, and cooperating with law enforcement and agencies. Um, you know, the the biggest thing that we need everybody to, to know is we take these allegations serious. Uh, we cooperate with law enforcement. We um, report immediately. And so right now, everybody's just cooperating. Colwick tells me it's been sad for him personally. He went to Kelly and has spent the last several days fielding countless calls and texts. The focus right now, the superintendent says, is on making sure everyone on this campus gets the support they need. We are going to take um, additional measures to help them, you know, and students and staff, you know, and in the, in the coming days, to, you know, if they need grief counselors or we'll have them on site and then they can meet with them and uh, staff and students. So if you could speak to um, all Kelly families right now, what would you want to say? Uh, just keep reiterating, you know, we take all reports serious. Uh, we are willing and 100 percent cooperative with law enforcement. Uh, we are willing to track down any rumor that's out there. We want to know about it. If anyone has any information to any anything, please let us know. They can email me. They can call my office. They can definitely are encouraged to call law enforcement or even the hotline. Dr. Colwick says he will be able to answer more questions as more information becomes available. Back to you, Kathy. Madison, thank you. That felony charge of sexual contact with a student carries a penalty of up to four years in prison. Again, this investigation is ongoing, so look for the very latest information as we get it, both on air and online.